perfect out there. Oh yeah, there. all good news in the weather world. And normally it's it's all uh, usually rough news in April. This is severe weather season after all. Thankfully, a lot quieter out there. A lot of sunshine and a beautiful view from that Grand View camera right now. The temperatures there is close to perfect as you can get. 71 in uh, Birmingham right now. Most spots in either the upper 60s to low 70s. Don't even need to turn on your AC. Got natural air conditioning out there. 68 in Gadsden right now. Got 67 up in Coleman. 66 in Hamilton. And then the farther south you go, the warmer it gets. 73 now in Tuscaloosa down to the southwest. Uh, broader picture, pretty dry out there. You can see a few clouds working their way in from the west over in Mississippi. A few light showers over towards uh, Louisiana and eastern Texas. We're going to be staying fairly dry until we get to around Wednesday morning with a small chance of rain, then a much bigger chance of rain this weekend. Farther north, some snow showers up in the Midwest. We've got this hugely cold air mass that's invaded the northern half of the uh, Midwest here. 30s right now in Minneapolis, right at freezing in Rapid City. This will invade its way into Alabama by Wednesday. Wednesday morning. It's not going to be quite that cold, but we will have a chance for some patchy frost heading into Thursday morning. For the short term, though, not much changes tonight. Partly to mostly cloudy when you head out early tomorrow morning and seeing more sunshine for tomorrow afternoon. We'll have winds out of the south. That means another day of warmer temperatures. We get up into the mid 70s tomorrow. That's close to average for this time of year with the average high of 75. Here comes that uh, first chance of showers that we'll see early Thursday morning. Best chance of that's going to be across our northern counties between Hamilton and Coleman. Then we'll be drying out pretty quickly heading into Wednesday morning. You see how the rain just fizzles out. So we're calling this a dry cold front, or at least a mostly dry cold front. And then back behind that, another push of that really cold air comes in, at least relatively speaking. We're only going to top out uh, the low 60s Wednesday, and then that chance of patchy frost will come in Thursday morning. With many spots in the mid to upper 30s early Thursday, it's pretty late in the season, but still you have to be on guard if you are planting any uh, plants out there. You need to keep them protected heading into Thursday because it's definitely going to be on the chillier side. Here are those low and high temperatures the next five days, trending cooler than average. Once we get past tomorrow, you see those highs in the 60s Wednesday and Thursday, rebounding a little bit towards the end of the week as we get back up into the 70s. Here's that full seven day forecast. It's pretty dry once we get past Wednesday. Uh, the next best chance of wet weather comes on Saturday. This will be uh, pretty much a very safe bet that we'll see scattered showers and storms. Fortunately, though, drying out for the Geico 500 at Talladega on Sunday.